Hey guys, here to show you a pretty impressive Modern Warfare 3 Team Deathmatch gameplay. But what I really wanted to talk about was Black Ops 2. Now, everyone knows it's coming out in November, and there's obviously a ton of anticipation for it. But what people may not know is that there's a lot going into the PC version of the game. Now, mod um, Call of Duty the series has, not, has never been really popular on PC. I mean, obviously the originals were, that's where it came out on, but pretty much ever since Modern Warfare 1, it's been console dominated. However, I think that could change with the new release of Black Ops 2. As you may not know, Black Ops 2 for PC is being developed by their own team. Their own PC team is developing the game. For the, for the rest of the Call of Duty series, there's just been... They've developed it primarily for the consoles and then just ported it or made a few modifications to make it work on PC. I think it's very interesting that they decided to make a full game of it designed just for the PC. They've PC has usually been left in the dust with the priority at Xbox or PS3. And rightly so. I mean, there are millions and millions of gamers on Xbox and PS3. I started off playing console gamer myself and I can, I can see why people play it. It's fun, it's easy, the controller is right in your hand and it's social. You can sit down with a group of your friends on the couch and play video games. But the problem is most kids do it, I do it, we all do it, is you sit on your couch by yourself with your headset and you play on, on a console. And I figure if you're going to do that, you might as well get the best exp gaming experience possible because you don't need the social aspect if you're just going to be by yourself with a headset. That's why I say you should play PC. Especially for Black Ops 2 because it's going to be their own game, dedicated servers, and it's, it's just going to be unbelievable. Graphics, hardware, all of that. So, I mean, that's just my thought. If you're, why would you play by yourself on a worse worse graphics, worse gameplay when you can sit on a computer and doing the same thing with just an incredible gaming experience. I mean that's just my my thought of the new Black Ops. Do I think it's gonna change do I think this is gonna change the face of gaming and switch everyone to PC? No, of course not. Everyone loves Xbox and PS3 because it's social. You play with each other and I agree. Do it all the time, play with my friends on the couch. But again, so many kids I guarantee 90% 90, 90 of the kids in your lobby are sitting by themselves in a chair in front of their TV. And I figure, if you're going to be doing that, why not do it in the, on the best platform possible, which is the PC. I'm really looking forward to Black Ops 2 release for this game. And I'm impressed and satisfied that they have decided to fully develop it with their own team. Now I want to switch over to where I think... Um, Call of Duty, the franchise is going in the future. I mean, beyond Call of, beyond Black Ops 2, beyond Modern Warfare 3, anything like that. Where, what is the future for Call of Duty? And my stance right now is, there have been these consecutive games, four consecutive games that have been taken place in the exact same time. Black Ops 2 is said is said to come out in 2025. Modern Warfare 3 takes place in 2016. Modern Warfare 2 takes place in 2014. There's really no difference between the time periods of these games. So that makes me think, what, what else can Call of Duty do to expand? And what I think they need to do is set a truly futuristic game. Try dropping the assault rifle. Drop dropping the M16, dropping the regular 9mm pistols and revolvers for some truly futuristic weaponry. That would be very interesting and I, I think Call of Duty could do a great job pulling that off. I don't know if it would be Treyarch or Infinity Ward, I don't know who would step up to the plate and attempt that, but I think it would definitely be of interest for the majority of Call of Duty gamers, especially with the fluid gameplay that it already offers. It would be very cool to see 
new types of combat besides a typical gunfight with more vehicular combat, more like anti-gravity, extraterrestrial combat. Maybe not in the multiplayer, but definitely in the single player campaign. And in the multiplayer, why not why not try anti-gravity kill streaks? A map that takes place in a space station. Just they need some new material because frankly for the past however many years it's just been modern combat that's all it is and it's obviously been a huge hit and I can see why they would want to stay that stay that route but at the same time I'm definitely looking for a change and I think the rest of the community is also looking for a change if it doesn't work out then we can always fix it just look at Black Ops 1 didn't really didn't really kick as big as Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare the, the way they kicked off just did not compare but we they came back they came back with Modern Warfare 3 they came back with Black Ops 2 so I think they should definitely give that futuristic truly futuristic gameplay an attempt because it would definitely catch the eye of many gamers and possibly draw in more gamers outside of the Call of Duty community so thanks for listening guys those are just my thoughts on Call of Duty I hope you enjoyed this 37 and 6 gameplay on ground war team deathmatch thanks guys